The Red Dead Online Naturalist update has now been out for a couple weeks, which means it's now time for us to go through the number one way to make money within Red Dead Online after this latest update. I've done this a couple times now every time an update has been released, and in normal circumstances, the money increases every single time. This time though, it has actually gone down due to the collector nerf that Rockstar has implemented. So you're not able to go through the coin set, the ring set, and the earrings set just spend an hour on that per day and make $1,200 because now that is completely random but we can still make decent money after this update if you do want to see me go through this money method live on stream and maybe you want to tag along with me so you can also get some of the benefits then there is a link in the description down below that will take you all the way over to twitch head over to there drop a follow and you'll be notified the next time i go live if you want to be able to play with other members of the community then you can head over to the discord there is over 2,000 members there and during the day there's a lot of them asking to find a posse so if that interests you there's a link to discord in the description getting back into the number one way to make money after the naturalist update going through all of this then may seem like there's quite a bit but it's actually very very easy you'll need to set up the trader the moonshiner do some collecting and just get a few samples here and there just so you can maximize the most amount of money we're pretty much using every role apart from the bounty hunter the bounty hunter will just take way too much time and for you to stick around a bounty board means that it's taken less time to get collectibles. So to begin with, you need to set up the trader. Go to the camp and donate animal parts. What I've been able to do recently and probably is going to take a bit of time for you to first do is I've got a full stockpile of legendary animals in my hunting wagon. I've been doing this ever since the release of this naturalist update. I would go into the legendary animal missions from Harriet, kill the legendary animal, come out of that mission and instead of chucking out on the back of my my horse and go into the trapper to sell it i would actually call my hunting wagon to chuck it in the back i will use those parts to donate to cribs as they can give you over 50 materials so you're able to maximize this very very quickly it got to a point when my trader business was full of materials so i just kept on chucking them within the hunting wagon so now whenever the trader runs out of materials i've just got a full stockpile that has made life incredibly easy so go over to your camp donate animal parts to crips use legendary animals if you have them and then spend 20 dollars on supplies it will take some time to come to your camp and if you really want to you can do a resupply mission but 20 dollars is nothing and this would be 100 percent passive income all you need to do is wait the next thing to do is to set up your moonshine shack Go over to your moonshine shack, buy moonshine, add flavoring, and it's completely done. Similar to the trader business, you can do missions which will reduce the cost of moonshine mash. Yet again, this is entirely your choice. For most of the time, I do not do them unless they're dynamic events, because I'm already there. So majority of the time, I am spending $50, but I'm still able to make a very good profit. As soon as those two are set up, that's your passive income. Those two will be walking away in the background giving you money. You do need to attend to them every now and then to do moonshine sales and then resupply it or do resupply and trader sales, but you still have about 15 minutes to do what you want to do. And it's at this point that you take the time to get as many different collectibles as possible. Now, as mentioned at the beginning, collecting doesn't make as much money because jewelry, coins, family heirlooms, and arrowheads are completely random. You used to be able to go to a set location to get a set collectible. And you can go through each and every one of those sets and you can complete them fairly easily. Now it's a lot harder to complete a set. You might go to five coin locations and it could very well give you the same coin each and every time. And that leads to if you go and collect the other 10 coin locations, it does end up meaning that you cannot complete a full set. But it is still very, very good money because coins individually still go for a decent amount. But I still recommend that you wait until you get a set. So even though you may not be able to complete a set today, if you're just starting, maybe tomorrow or the very next day, that's when you can start completing sets. And it gets easier and easier as you carry on going through all of this. So I still go through the coin set, the ring set and the earring set because they are the most expensive once I do finally complete them. If you do want to guarantee that you'll get money and you'll complete a set at the end of doing all this collecting, you can focus on some of the other sets such as the American wildflowers, the tarot cards, the antique alcohol bottles and also the bird eggs. 
When you are collecting, I do use the interactable map just so I can place each and every collectible. We have already gone through it on the channel to talk about Madame Nazar. Whether or not this new update, the nerf that Rockstar have implemented with collectibles, whether or not it's worth going to Madame Nazar to buy collector maps, still please do not do that. It is a complete waste of money as Madame Nazar still gives you the exact same locations as you're seeing on the interactable map and it is still a random chance except for the collector maps from Madame Nazar you have to pay money for. Using the collector map you can see that there's a distance between each and every collectible and this is where the naturalist comes in. Whilst you're going to each and every collectible location to get the collectible that you want, any animals that cross your path you are going to sedate and you're going to sample. This will add a sample to your sat which you can later sell to Harriet. You just want to keep on doing this, rinse and repeat. So you've just gone to a collectible location, you've got to dig it up, you've got to collect it, you're now going to go to the next location, but you need to travel for a couple minutes. Whilst you're traveling, any animals that cross your path, you sedate, you sample, and you just carry on going, heading towards the collectible location. In 50 minutes, whilst trying to find all of these different collectibles, you'll probably get anywhere between 20 to 50 samples. In the footage that you're seeing, I managed to get 70 samples but some of those were left over before I started recording all of this footage and when I did go through the collectible locations on my journey to Harriet I did get some more samples so that's pushing to the higher end out of the 70 samples that I managed to get and sell to Harriet that gave me $140 which doesn't sound like much but this is where we're starting to layer things after 50 minutes that's when the moonshine shack will be done so you need to head over to there to sell those bottles and then you'll need to come back to the moonshine shack to resupply it depending whereabouts you are with the trader business you will either have to go back to the camp to resupply again so cribs can carry on generating goods or you've maximized the amount of goods so you need to sell those off either doing a short distance or a long distance delivery the trader takes a bit longer for you to get 100 goods. If you've got zero right now, it'll take you around three to four hours for you to complete that and get 100 goods for you to then sell on. So it all depends whereabouts you are. But that said, this is about layering. You've managed to get money from the moonshine business. I always do the $226 flavoring because it doesn't require a collectible. I do have the minus $50 because that's what it costs to buy Moonshine Mash. So we're looking at around $170. With sampling, after I spend 50 minutes getting these different samples, I should have around $100. I didn't get it within this playthrough, but there is also a time where if you sell the right samples, you can complete a category within the Animal Field Book, and this can give you even more money. We're not looking at crazy amounts of hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds because that requires legendary animals, but you still can get $60 plus, which is a very nice bit of money to add on top of this. You don't have the trader business, which takes a bit longer to make money. As said, it could take anywhere between three to four hours for you to get 100 goods, and that is dependable whether or not you're doing trader resupply missions or whether or not you're ordering supplies. If you're ordering supplies, it does take a bit longer. But when delivering 100 goods, this will give you anywhere between $500 to $650, depending whether you do a long distance or a short distance delivery. And then finally, the thing that is the biggest variable is the collector sets. Especially if you're going through the coins, the jewelry, the arrowheads, or the family heirlooms, because this is entirely random. So this is harder to complete a set. But if you do complete one of the sets that I recommend being the jewelry, the family heirlooms, the arrowheads or the coins, you're looking at a very good amount of money. For bracelets, you can get $271.50. For earrings, you can get $364.50. For necklaces, you can get $335. For rings, you can get $378. For arrowheads, you can get $289. For family heirlooms, you can get $292.50. And coins you can get $540 and all of this will start to add up. As said at the beginning this money is not as good as what it was previously. When we were able just to get the collectibles that we wanted to get and we can easily complete a set but this still is a very good way to make money. 
especially when two of the methods is just passive. You just set it up and then forget about it for 50 minutes. You'll get a notification when you need to attend to it. The rest is just collecting and getting samples. It's very similar to what we were doing previously, except the added bonus of implementing the mattress roll into this. But anyway, that is the money method, the number one way to make money within Red Dead Online after this latest update. If you do want to see me go through all of this live, then I am streaming over on Twitch. There is a link in the description down below that will take you over to there. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. Or if you want to get a group of people to walk you through all of this, you can head over to the Discord and you'll find a ton of players that will probably want to make money within this game. So a link to that is also in the description. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.